December. Let's talk about December. Well, uh, we're at a pretty high elevation here, so the nights are kind of chilly. For some kinds of people, that doesn't matter at all. It's usually not that cold, but sometimes a storm hits or something, and it's cold. But we can take care of you. Uh, we do have in late December, Boscovis, which is a end-of-the-year celebration. Uh, that's for members only. Uh, so you'll need to have been active in some other part of the year to come here for that. Because uh, we have a limited amount of housing. And uh, it's just a, a fun way to celebrate. We go from around the 22nd or so, which I think is the winter solstice, uh, until uh, uh, like January 2nd. That's actually a good time to visit from outside the country, December. If you were looking to fly in to like the beach and then stay there for a little bit and then come here and then go back to the beach for a bit and then fly back out. That'd be an extapa. And that's how I personally like to fly. Now it's going to cost me slightly more than Mexico City or even Morelia maybe. I'm not sure how those would compare. Sometimes there's good deals to extapa. But I, I would recommend then flying into there and then getting some beach time. And I can recommend where, or just coming straight here, get used to everything, or go with other people to the beach, whatever. But uh, during the summer, the beach is too hot. The only tolerable times are in, in uh, G uh, December, January, February. And so December is the, the high season down there. So that's actually the worst time to camp there. So you may want to think about after your Bosque experience going to the beach. I think that makes more sense because uh, you'll you'll be more comfortable uh, with a few things in Mexico. If you're not familiar with Mexico, uh, we can recommend great places for you at the beach. And then you also aren't in the highest season. You're slightly after it. Now, you're only slightly after it, so I don't know how that works out. Good luck. So, yeah, December, generally quiet, chilly at night. You gotta you don't need to have any preparedness for rain or anything. There's usually no rain. But you got to have really warm uh, hat and stockings and all that stuff. And we'll have a fire for you in the mornings anyway.